of secrets and skeletons Or weeks but nothing's true Hey there guys, it's Jason Mazda and welcome back to another Sims 3 store content review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new premium content venue which came to the store on the 6th of February. It is the Prism Art Studio which came with the premium content item, the Artisan's Glass Blowing and Jewellery Making Station. I thought I'd start this review off by showing you some of the new creator sim items which came with this venue. So we have my Let's Play Sim here, Ty, who is going to show off the new male outfit, the artist's apron for him. I really, really like this. It looks sort of similar to the open for business outfit from The Sims 2, but of course it's for glass blowing, so it's got some of the cool little tools here that you can see, nice little paint brushes and pencils, which have been stenciled on. And it's got, a, it's got a hole in the jeans, of course, as you can see. It looks a little bit hipster, but it looks really cool. I think I will be using this in my Let's Play as well. It just looks really stylish. Here it is with a different pattern texture. Um, again, pretty similar. And here is the final variety. You can completely customize this, of course. I will do that at the end, maybe, or let you guys show me some of your versions. But this is how it looks. I'm going to pop over to the female creator sim so I can show you the other new outfit. So here we are in the female creator sim. So I'm going to be using Tegan from my Let's Play series to show off the new female outfit. This is also called the artist apron, but this time for her. That looks awesome with her hair. So Tegan has really cool red hair and that just looks really sweet. It really color coordinates it well. Again, it has the nice paint brushes and pencils, and this time it has some leggings, tights. I'm not really sure what they are. Again, I'm a guy, so not too good with that kind of stuff, but they're pants in general, so they can be sort of added. Uh, they can give whatever texture you want. Again, completely customizable. I like with um, the paint sprayed over it. It really looks quite nice. And that is the blue variety. We're going to stick with the red one just because it goes really well with Tegan's hair. So we are going to go to the venue now. Hey guys, so here we are at the Prism Art Studio. Let me just start off by saying how cool does this lot look? This is one of my favourite premium content venues by far. I really like the stained glass windows. Would someone in the comments be able to tell me if these came with this venue or if they'd already been in the game before I'm not quite sure they look really cool nonetheless and it's a really nice lot in general lots of very artsy stuff so let's start up at the top floor so this has some of the new mannequin items as well as just some decor items and a new art easel which is really cool and then the other side has just sort of a walkway area with the spiral staircase getting up there just so you can look over at the paintings below which is pretty cool not much on the other side here we have the glass blowing and jewelry making machine which is really cool we actually have another one a little bit lower which is the one i'm going to show off and just a staircase getting up to there and oh we have another one over here so it's sort of they've made it sort of symmetrical. So they have glass, they have three glass blowing and jewelry making objects, which is really cool. If you want to bring multiple sims here, you can have them all do it at the same time. Okay, here is the second floor of this little lot. Looks really, really nice. You can see everything inside this way and nice little paintings, <laughs> cars and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Just a couch area that you can sit on. Again, the mannequins there. More cool stuff. Here is the really cool sort of, uh, not quite sure what it is. It's sort of a fun bar room, very multicolored. I really like the patterns on the couches. Very, very colorful room. Here we are. This is the reason I bought this. 
We now have split level staircases in The Sims. How friggin' cool is that? For me being a builder in The Sims, you don't understand how cool this is to actually finally have split level staircases just pre-built. So when I normally build a split level staircase, I have to use a cheat called Constrained Floor Elevation False, which helps make the staircase split level. It's very difficult and it takes a lot of time. Now we just have a single object which we can place and it looks so much better as well. Here is a, another look at the split level staircase. They've used it quite a lot in this uh, venue, of course. I think they used it best here when they had like a little fence with some plants going through. I reckon we're going to see some really cool building designs over the next few couple of days using these split level staircases. Hey, you might even see one from me. Hint, hint, I will be doing it. <laughs> so I really like these. Cool, I'm saying really a lot. I do love this lot. It's very cool. Lots of using different words from my vocabulary. So here are some of the new floor tiles. Just looks awesome. And here is the backyard, um, backyard premium content item, which is the artisans glass blowing and jewelry making station. So we have a variety of different options we can do on this station. So we're going to get Tegan to quickly show this off as Tegan actually has a metal in her pocket. So I had Tegan go and grab a gold. So what you can do first is you can smelt it, which is cool. And then you can make a whole range of different objects at the moment. So let's start with a glass utensils receptacle, which is quite nice. Oops. Let's really show this off. How friggin' cool is that animation? That is sweet. You can also make accessories like sunburst earrings, and what was the other one? You can make a stretch coin bracelet. Again, pretty similar animation. Very, very cool. I love this so much. So I'm just going to show you one last overview of the house before we go back to create a sim so I can show you some of the final jewellery items which came with this venue. This is a review and a first impressions and the review is, I love this, this is awesome. Um, one of my favourite store venues that I have bought and it looks really nice in any neighborhood. I tried this out in Sunset Valley as well, but I'm using it in Islo Paradiso, which came with Island Paradise. Just looks really, really nice, nestled in with the mountainside and the beach. Love that, it's, uh, it's sort of like a back to front S-shaped pool. It's really artistic. One other thing I just want to show off quickly Ooh, it's a foreboding full moon, and it's about night, so we're going to have to wrap this up. So here, can we get you to turn on the lights, please, Ty? Um, some of the lights are on. That's a bit weird. No, oh, wait, you're not on the light anymore. Auto lights. Lights. I'm not sure. Maybe this room's meant to be dark. How cool is this texture? It's clear glass and see-through. That is awesome. And you've got all your other little cool objects in here, which could even be sold if you have Midnight Hollows. I'd love to do that. Have um, Tegan is an artistic sim in my Let's Play series, which I'm doing at the moment, and she is going to take full advantage of this venue. So this was a first impressions as well as a review, so I'm not going to show everything off. I'm going to be showing this off in a few more specials. So if you'd like to see more of this venue and more Sims 3 content, make sure you subscribe. Hmm, really, really, really happy with this, and it is getting to the full moon. So we're going to pop back over into Create a Sim. 
Make sure if you guys have any questions about this lot or if you'd like to see me try it out with specific things in the next part, make sure you leave a comment. Also, let me know what you think of this house or venue. Let me know what you think of this venue. One last thing I actually forgot to show off is the little garage parking space at the back here. It's not usable, but it's very cool to look at and it really adds a sort of realistic theme to the lot. So we're going to pop back into Creator Sim right now. So hey guys, here we are back in Creator Sim. Now we are going to be showing off the new jewellery items which came with this new premium content venue. So we have Tegan here. She's actually had her hair tied back for this just so we can see the earrings as well as some of the bangles and stuff like that. So we're going to start with the first item and I'm just going to do a whole rotation for each of these items just so everyone can see them. Here is the next item. Oh, that's quite cool. It's like a little cherry. <laughs> just really neat things. If you really like Creator Sim, I'm sure these things will appeal to you quite a lot. That's more of a chrome nice colour with a little bit of a pink colour in the middle. Here, this looks quite blue. It looks almost like a seashell. I don't think it's meant to quite be though. There's some of the normal game objects. Here is a new necklace, which looks pretty neat as well. It's like a little stone talisman. This looks awesome. Looks quite nice with the earrings as well. The blues match together as well if you want to be sort of color coordinated. And here is another necklace, just showing the back of it and everything again. We get quite a lot of jewelry items in this pack, which is quite cool because I've actually, I haven't downloaded that much store content. I need to increase my store content, but, oh, that matches, that's perfect. But I don't have many jewelry items in my game. So it really adds to the theme of realism as well. So it's really nice to see something like this. That's quite pretty as well. Nice brown and blue. I'm not sure if I like that one. Red color. Oh, I do like that. It looks almost like a, it's, it's kind of a mix between a cherry and a shark tooth, which is pretty cool. And is that it? I think we'd have some bangles as well. So here we are with the bangle. I'm just going to show them off like this. A little bit closer so you can see. So that's a multicolored one. What's this one? Hmm, kind of a unique pattern. I'm not actually quite sure what they are. Almost done with this, guys. I really just want to show you all the items that came with this as well as the overview of the venue itself. So that appears to be it. So we're going to zoom back out on Tegan. Just one last thing before I end this overview and review, as well as my first impressions. You guys can win this set yourself by liking, commenting, and favoriting this episode. All you have to do to enter is one, like this video, two, be a subscriber of Jason Mazda. It's easy, it's just a click on the button just below you, or you can click the screen right now. The final thing that you need to do is comment your Sims 3 username, as well as answer some of the questions that I answered throughout this video. It helps improve your chances. I'd like to uh, hear you guys say what you think of this set, as well as what you'd like me to review next. Also, what is your favourite store content so far? We're almost set, finished with The Sims 3, so it'd be really cool to hear your opinions. Please let me know what you'd like to see next from this set, because I will be including it in my Sims 3 Roaring Heights Let's Play with Tegan, as she's an artist sim. This really, uh, really will appeal to her which is quite cool for my cool Let's Play series. I use cool way too much if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time for more Sims 3 related content. See you guys.